Welcome to another episode of Painting with LT. My name is Lieutenant Sean Mullins, retired lieutenant with Levy County Sheriff's Office. I'm here to teach you just a basic video today of how to paint a cloud in oils. So what I have done, I've taken a uh, just a small canvas and I have prepped it with a clear gel medium and put some titanium white, mixed that together. And then I just put a coat of Prussian blue over that. And that's solely for the background for the clouds. The brush I'm gonna be using is a number six uh, fan brush. That's what we have here, number six fan brush. And I'm gonna start with some Payne's Gray. And I load it just like this, pull through. Try to get that one corner. And I come up to my canvas, the label is up, and I just take and smush like this and just smush in some color, just like that. Then you wipe your brush off. You come back in with some white. Load it almost exactly the same way. I'm trying to keep a lot of the paint on the right hand corner. And I go right above this, smush it in, smush it in, join them together. There we go. Nothing too fancy. And wipe off your brush again. And using just that one corner, you just take and you blend. You can pull it out. And there you go. Let's do another one. I'm going to pull right through the panes gray. Loading up, especially the corner of the brush. I hold it where the writing is in the middle. And you just smush in your underpaint, your under part of the cloud. As I've said before, a lot of times clouds are flat on the bottom, so there that is. I'm going to go into my white, throw some up here. There we go, just a little bit. Wipe off my brush good. And just take again, just the same corner, holding up the label up in place. And very gently, just pull down this and blend it. Blend some out. Just like that. And if you want to highlight, you can go right back in, just wipe your brush out, go up into some cleaner white, come right back up top, add a little bit to it like this. And there's your cloud that way, depending on which way your light's coming from, you can leave it like that. Or you could even come back with a little Payne's Gray and add just another dimension to it. Like this, then we can add some more white on top of that. And there we go. And there's some basic cloud shapes. All right. I hope that helped you guys today. And again, I appreciate you watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to make a comment on this, uh, on this video itself. Be sure to like and subscribe. And God bless, my friends.